Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. If you guys are new, welcome. I'm Sam. I am so grateful that you decided to click on my video. And excuse my voice, I have my voice a little like raspy. I don't know why. For today's video, I have my favorite brushes. These are the brushes that I use every day. The brushes that I use to do like a really neutral color or even to do a really, really colorful makeup look. So if you want to know what those brushes are, then just keep on watching. First category is face brushes and I have these are like my holy grail face brushes I've been using them um, for years and the first brush I have here is the Morphe E34 um, this is the brush that I use every day to set my foundation with my powder and it is perfect for powder I use the studio fix powder and that is a powder foundation and I just feel like this is the perfect brush because it's really fluffy as you can see it's pretty big and it helps me pack on the brush so that it helps me set the foundation the next one I have here this is the morphe m554 and as you can see this the shape it is perfect to set your under eye and this is exactly what I use it for as you can see this is the perfect size and shape to uh, set your under eye and th that is exactly what I use it for um, I usually like pack on the under eye powder with a um, <clears throat> I usually use a dry beauty sponge to just put on the powder and then I go in with this one to just brush that powder off and I just feel like it's perfect for your under eye. I also use it to set my lids whenever I place my concealer and I know I'm not going to use like very colorful looks. I just use a vanilla shade or even my everyday powder and I just set my lids and it's just I feel like it's like the perfect size to be able to like set your lids as well as your under eyes. The next brush I have here, this is the Real Techniques. Uh, blush brush and I've had this brush for years this is one of my first brushes I ever bought and I feel like it's a little bit too big in my opinion for your blush um, I like that it's like super super fluffy so what I use it actually for is my bronzer so this is the brush that I use to bronze up my face um, I feel like it has like the perfect size to just go all over um, the outer parts of your face to be able to like bronze up your face so yeah, I mean, it's a little big, like I said, for your blush, because uh, I feel like it takes like a lot of room on my face, uh, but I feel like it's perfect for your overall like bronze, um, like all around your face. So like I said, this is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. The next one I have here, it is Morphe M523. I actually got it from Jaclyn Hill. She actually uploaded a favorite blush just like years and years ago, and she recommended this one. She said that it was one of her favorites um, to contour, and I love because it's a really, it's a white bristle, so that means that it's really packed, and it, I really like it because of the shape, as you can see. It's really, really nice, and I feel like it's like perfect to be able to like contour under your uh, cheekbones. It's the perfect size, in my opinion, to uh, contour your face. The next one I have here, this is a Beauty Creations RC07. And this brush, I got it, I don't remember where I got it from, uh, but it is really, really nice. It is super fluffy, and I really, really like it for my blush. As you can see, it's pink uh, because I use it every day for my blush. I feel like it is the perfect size to just like put on a little bit of your blush. I believe this brand is really, really affordable. As always, links are going to be down in the description box if you guys want to check these brushes out. Next brush, um, this is my last face brush, and this is the Morphe M501. Pretty sure you guys have seen this brush all over the internet. Um, this is like the perfect brush for your highlight. Um, I've been using it again for years. It just applies my highlight so beautifully, as you can see. Like, I love me some like bright highlight. Um, and yeah, this one applies it really, really nice. It's just like the perfect hair. It's just like the perfect size to apply on top of your cheekbones. So moving on, I have my favorite brushes for eyebrows. And like these ones are the ones that I cover up my eyebrows with as well as filling them in. I'm going to show you the two that I've had for literally years because these have been like my combo for the last, I want to say like four years to fill in my eyebrows. And I recently found another two that have been like my holy grail for the past, I want to say like four or five months. Um, this one is by Sigma. And this is the one that I used to um, use to like carve out my eyebrows. Um, I've had this one for years and you can barely see like the um, the name by Sigma right here on the handle. Um, this is the F70. I actually don't think they carry this one anymore. Um, I used to love this one or actually still love it um, to carve out my eyebrows as well as um, carve out my crease. Now the bristles have gone a little you know crazy because uh, I've had this brush for years. 
but yeah it was a really really amazing brush next this is, this is the anastasia beverly hills um number 12 brush again this one that i've had for years this brush i used to use it to fill in my eyebrows every single day um now i found another one that i love um and it has replaced this one but this is an amazing brush if you're looking for uh, a brush to fill in your eyebrows i use it with my pomade and uh right now again like this one like the bristles are going a little a little crazy because it's been through some things uh but yeah definitely this is an amazing amazing brush i actually want to try the number seven i've heard that it's really really good as well to fill in your eyebrows more for like the hair strokes which i'm trying to practice more because i'm not that great at it and i really want to learn how to like um do like the hair strokes because i really like the look of them now i have these other two that actually have replaced those brushes uh this is the morphe m160 and then it has like a um, dash uh, 1 8 and this i've been loving to um, actually do my eyebrows it is extremely thin it gets like i feel like this one would be actually perfect to practice the hair strokes i actually found it the other day um, by accident i was like looking for another brush that I'm going to talk about today and actually found this one and I was like that would be like perfect to fill in my eyebrows um, and I tried it and it is like amazing amazing so if you guys haven't tried it yet I really recommend it to fill in your brows like once you can like squeeze it and it gets like really really thin and it's like just like perfect to like um, do those brush uh, strokes the next one I have here, um, this is a Morphe M421, and I've used this one a couple times to carve out my crease. If you guys haven't watched my um, cut crease for hooded eyes video, I'm going to link it up here. Uh, that is a couple videos back, I believe. I actually use this brush to carve out my cut creases. I feel like it is a perfect size. So this brush, I actually use it for those two things, which is like carving out my brows as well as carving out my cut creases. I feel like it is an amazing, amazing size. Now, I do have a lot of Morphe brushes because they are really affordable and I've never actually had a problem with them like shedding on me. I know that a couple years back they were having a problem with a lot of customers that they were like shedding on them, but um, I haven't had any problems with mine. And yeah, they're amazing brushes and really affordable. So okay, so next I'm going to talk about brushes that I use for like details. I only have four here because I don't, I'm trying to practice more like thin liners and stuff. So um, I just have a couple here. The first one is a Morphe M508, and this is just a short shader brush, as you can see. It's really, really short, and this one I actually just use it to place the color on my lower lash line. I feel like it's the perfect size to just apply that color. Next, I have a Morphe M515, and this is a tiny, tiny brush. I don't know if you can actually see that. It's really tiny. It's like a really tiny pencil brush. Um, I usually use this one to apply my inner corner highlight which is usually like a pigment um, and it's white hair that means that it actually picks up a lot of product even though it's really tiny I feel like it's perfect for your um, like inner corner highlight and then I have this is a MAC 210 I actually bought this one a couple years back um, it's really nice the bristles are going a little crazy because uh, I actually lost a little plastic to like keep it like tight uh, but this is just a really thin liner brush I really really like this brush it's amazing to um, just either when you do a cut crease, you can just apply the liner um, or even just apply your like liquid liner. I feel like it's amazing. It's a perfect size. Um, but I actually, <laughs> I actually found this brush at Walmart. It was one of the like, it was in a pack of like several brushes. Uh, and I tried it today for my eyeliner and it came out pretty good. Um, I think the whole pack was like $3.95, like less than $4.00. Um, and this is just the brand Ro uh, Royal and Lanico and I, like I said this is like literally perfect for your eyeliner actually it's pretty comparable to the MAC um, but the um, the Royal and Lanico is a little thicker so yeah those are like the brushes that I use more for like detail work so next I have uh, two of the same brush uh, this is the Morphe M167 and this is just a shader brush and this one, I just use it to pack on my lid um, colors. Lid, and this one, I just use it to pack on my lid colors. Um, it is really, really nice to just it pack pack on the color. Uh, this is the one that I usually like spray with a setting spray just to give whatever color I'm gonna use on my lid to give it more like you know bevel boom. So um, yeah, this is like one of my favorites. I actually used it a couple times to carve on my crease, and it wasn't that bad actually. Um, I just feel like it's a little thicker, 
So you can actually pack it maybe with like concealer and try to like squeeze it with your fingers and that may give you like a really like thin line. I'm actually gonna give that a try. Next ones, I have uh, three kind of like fluffy brushes. This is another Sigma brush. Um, actually, I believe it is an E40. And if you looked at my other like past um, videos, I actually raved about this brush. This is an amazing, amazing brush to just like blow up that um, like upper crease and it's just like an amazing brush to um, disperse all the colors. And then I have a Sigma E25. This has been an OG with me. This is another brush that I've had for years and it was one of my first like blender brushes. It, the E25 is like the perfect size to just blow out that outer uh, crease. Uh, as well as like just packing that color on the outside crease. The next one I have here, this is a Morphe M511. I love this brush. Um, when I, whenever I'm like, I need to do like a super quick look, I usually just use this brush to apply my bronzer and just put it on my crease and just like blow it out just for an everyday look. Um, it is extremely fluffy as you can see, it's pretty big. Um, and it's just like amazing to like just blow out that color if you wanna do just an everyday look. The next ones are the ones that I have like more brushes and these are the brushes that I use when I do like a colorful look or when I do like a really like detail work that I use a lot of shadow colors. These four are the same brush and this is the Morphe E18. I love this brush to pack on your colors whenever you're going to do like a colorful look or even like a neutral look but it helps pack on the color. So I would usually take one of these and just pack on the color and then just place it on my crease and it just helps because it is so dense it just helps the color like stay in place and just like pack it I feel like it gives me an amazing color payoff with these when I'm first applying those colors and then the other ones I have here they're also like pencil brushes um, these ones again I use them to like pack color uh, this one is a Morphe E36 this is a smaller brush I usually like this one to let's say that I'm putting my first crease color and I want to apply another to like blend the edges of that. Um, I usually use this one to just place that color on top of that. Again, this is the E36. It's a like a smaller version than the E18. Like as you can see, it's just like a tad smaller than that one. The other ones I have here, this is an R41 and the this is a Beauty Creations one. They are extremely, extremely similar. They're a little bit um, bigger than the E18. Um, but as well, I use it to like pack on the color. And then this is a E60, I believe. This is another Sigma. Uh, this is an actual pencil brush. It actually goes like that. Like it has a very pointy end. Um, and I usually use this one to pack on the color on my lower lash. And then I go with a fluffier brush to just blend that out. These next brushes are my loves. These brushes are the ones that I use to blend my colors and just uh, slowly but surely start like blowing up the color and so that it gives me a really really nice blend. So I have a lot of these because I usually whenever I'm doing a look I use different shades of the same color and these are my favorite brushes to blend those colors with. These are the M506 and these are the brushes like I said the ones that make that perfect blend possible. They are the perfect like shape and like the density of the actual like bristles I feel like it's just it's the perfect brush this is like my ultimate like favorite favorite brush and I actually found this brush through Nikki tutorials she like raves about this the next one I have here this is the M562 and this is a white bristle hair I usually use this one just to blend out my uh, top shade that I'm using just to blend right underneath my brow bone. I feel like this is like the perfect brush to do that. It is very very tiny. The next ones I have here, this is the Morphe M514 and this one I usually use it to blend out the actual edges of my uh, shadows. Whenever I'm doing more of a circular uh, kind of like look, I really like these ones to like just blend the edges. Um, it is very packed at the top. It helps me keep the eyeshadow in place whenever I'm trying to blend it out. So again, this is another great uh, blender brush that it like helps you have like that perfect, perfect blend. This is the MAC 221. Um, everybody raised about this one um, over in the UK actually. I don't see a lot of people talking about this brush. It's more like in the UK. Mine's a little bit stained. It is extremely similar 
to the uh, Morphe M562. This one's a little bit bigger, um, like, it, like it's a little tiny, tiny bigger, uh, but it, I feel like it does the same job as the other one. This one, uh, Mimi Mitchell actually raves about it. Um, this is one of his favorite brushes. And again, he uses it to like just blend out the edges and just take the time to blend out that shadow. The final brush I have here, this is a Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. So this brush, I usually use it to for several things. Um, sometimes I use it to apply my pigment in my inner corner. Sometimes I use it to like blend my outer shadow. Um, sometimes I use it for different stuff like that. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing like blending brush. Um, again, very similar to the 221S by MAC um, or even the uh, Morphe M514. So these ones are really, really nice as well to like blend your edges. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you guys pick up any of these brushes. Again, they are amazing brushes. The quality is really, really nice. I've never had any trouble with uh, Morphe brushes or any uh, actually of these brushes that I mentioned today. They are my everyday brushes. Even if I do like a simple look or, you know, if I'm going like a really bold and colorful look, these are the brushes that I use on an everyday basis. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there. Again, I'm sorry for my voice. I don't know what's going on uh, I think I like talked a lot today so that's why it's a little like raspy uh, but yeah if you did enjoy please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there as always all of the products that I use and mention in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media and until then I'll see you guys on my next video bye